When you think Palestine, you may think violence, land seizures and a decades-long Israeli occupation. But what you might not know is that another country played a driving role in causing the region's conflict, Imperial Britain. From 1516 to at least 1917, Palestine was under the control of the Ottoman Empire, a religiously diverse land where Christians, Muslims and Jews lived alongside one another at peace for the most part. Then in the early 1900s, a small number of European Jews were trying to drum up support for Zionism and the establishment of a Jewish homeland. Just 20 years before, in 1897, the movement led by Theodor Herzl was initiated at a conference in Switzerland. They decided that they would advocate for a Jewish homeland in Palestine, but the movement at the time didn't have much support. And at the time, only around 8% of the population of Palestine was Jewish. At the same time, Arab nationalism was on the rise and many Palestinians wanted an independent state. Imperial Britain knew of both the ambitions of Zionists and Palestinians and used the situation to bolster their own interests. In 1914, amid World War I, Britain went to war with the Ottoman Empire. And in 1915, Henry McMahon, Britain's representative in Cairo, approached Arab leaders with a proposal. Britain would agree to Arab independence if they helped fight against the Ottomans. Then in 1917, Britain's foreign secretary wrote a one-paragraph letter to Walter Rothschild, a leading figure in the British Jewish community. It read, His Majesty's government views with favour the establishment in Palestine of a national home for the Jewish people and will use their best endeavours to facilitate the achievement of this object. This letter became known as the Balfour Declaration, and it was in stark contrast to a declaration of the British and French armies in 1918, which assured the people of Syria, Palestine and Mesopotamia of autonomy. So what was going on? Britain had promised independence to the Arabs that lived in Palestine, but then also promised a homeland for Jews on land that was already inhabited. Was Britain just transferring land that did not belong to them to whoever they liked? When the Ottoman Empire collapsed in 1918, the League of Nations gave Britain a mandate or administrative control of Palestine in 1920. It was a dual mandate. On one hand, they were to act on behalf of Palestinians, but on the other hand, they were to act on behalf of the international community of Jews who wanted to establish a homeland. Britain then drew up arbitrary borders, transferring the eastern bank of the Jordan River to the Hashemites. It was under the British mandate that Jews from Europe began to immigrate to Palestine and buy up land. The Jewish population in Palestine grew tenfold, from 60,000 to more than 600,000 between 1918 and 1947. Many Palestinians saw the mass influx of Jews as a European colonial movement. So as one might expect, it led to conflict. In 1929, riots broke out at the Wailing Wall in Jerusalem. Both Palestinians and Jews lost lives. In 1936, after Jewish immigration increased even more, more riots broke out. This time, the British were heavy-handed and killed between 2,000 and 5,000 Palestinians. A Royal British Commission concluded that because Britain had allowed mass immigration, Palestine had two distinct societies that couldn't be reconciled. They recommended a partition of the land. The Arab Higher Committee rejected this, saying it was all their land. Britain then banned the Arab Higher Commission. They introduced the White Paper of 1939. It stated that Palestine should be a binational state inhabited by Jews and Palestinians, but that Jewish immigration would be limited for five years. But illegal immigration still went on, and violence continued to erupt. And when Britain couldn't handle the mess they had a part in creating, they handed the country back to the UN in 1948. The UN then decided to partition Palestine. The story gets a lot more complicated after this, but the British promising land which already belonged to Palestinians to other people has played a part in decades of conflict and bloodshed. <laughs>